All right, welcome to the CryptoTrader.tax warning trades video. We're going to quick run through warning trades, why you're getting them, ways to troubleshoot it, um, and kind of why they're important. So let's get started. As you can see, we're here in the CryptoTrader.tax web application platform. I might have to move around this video monitor during the screencast so that we can see um, the entire screen. But let's just jump right in. So first of all, what are warning trades? Why do they exist? So in the world of cryptocurrency, um, right, it's treated as property in the eyes of the IRS in the United States for tax purposes. Property is subject to capital gains taxes. What this means essentially is if I acquire a piece of property, let's call it a house for $100 and then I sell that house a month later for $200, well, I have a $200 or $100 capital gain, right, from 100 to 200 that I actually owe taxes on. And this is exactly how the world of cryptocurrency works. So the reason that warning trades exist is essentially you haven't given CryptoTrader.tax all of the necessary data it needs to crunch the correct capital gains. And this is because somehow you're not showing and including to CryptoTrader.tax how you acquired that cryptocurrency and if we don't know how you acquired it we don't know at what value you acquired it and when you acquired it so this obviously makes the calcula cal capital gains calculation impossible to complete so common problems that people see um, and we'll run through a, a couple examples here but I'm just talking briefly is they didn't upload their trading history from the platform or the extensive of their trade history from the platform that they initially acquired crypto on, right? A lot of crypto traders go to Coinbase when they act to, to go from fiat US dollars, right, into a Bitcoin or an Ethereum, right? This is when they actually first acquired it. And this could be years ago, right? So we actually need all of that data because we need to know at what value you first acquired that cryptocurrency. Other common use cases are, you know, maybe I mined that cryptocurrency and that's how I acquired it. Well, you have to include that data into this platform. So again, we know your cost basis, aka how much you initially acquired that cryptocurrency for. So to start off, we're just going to run through a couple of examples to show kind of how this workflow looks and how you can troubleshoot it. So right here, I'm in step four, the review trade section. And as you can see right now, we have no warning trades, okay? I'm, I have three exchanges that I'm trading in and there's no warning trades. And that's because I've, I have all of my data in the platform. Um, what we're gonna do quick, we're gonna go back to step three. And so for this example, Coinbase was our on-ramp. Like I mentioned, that's how we actually first acquired the cryptocurrency, right? I went from US dollars and I bought Ethereum in Coinbase. So as you can see, if we delete the file that's already present on here, let's go ahead and delete this, okay? Success, this is deleted, right? We no longer have the Coinbase file. We're gonna go here to the next step and you will see, bam, we get a warning trade. So like I said, now CryptoTrader.tax, it sees that you're trading Ethereum for a basic attention token in Binance, but it's saying, hey, I don't see that you ever owned any Ethereum before you did this. So this trade is actually impossible. And for tax purposes, it's impossible to report on this trade, right? Because we need to know how much Ethereum we have and how much we acquired it for. So as you can see, right, this warning trade, if you hover over the mouse, on this spot it'll just say hey you're attempting to sell more Ethereum than you owe at the time obviously this can be confusing for users who don't understand how crypto taxes work but how you're going to troubleshoot this is go okay does crypto trader tax have all my data maybe i didn't go far enough back in coinbase to show when i when i acquired this asset right we need all of your years of data maybe you didn't include some trades from Coinbase Pro or from Gemini where you first initially acquired the crypto or maybe you didn't include your mining transactions when you mined the Ethereum, okay? But for this first example, we're going to go back to the import trades. We're going to click on the Coinbase, right? Because let's just pretend that we forgot to do this and we're like, 
this could be the reason why we're getting that error. We're going to upload that Coinbase file, import it here using this button, successfully imported. We're going to go to the next step, review these trades, and voila, the warning trade's gone because now we're showing the application how we initially acquired that cryptocurrency. Okay, now we're going to run through an alternative example, and that's the mining example, which is another common form, right? A lot of folks are out there mining cryptocurrency, they're sending it to a wallet address, and then they're sending from there that into you know, the Binance's or the Poloniex's of the world and doing a lot of altcoin trading. So again, in this scenario, if you only upload your Poloniex trades, you're going to get a warning error if you initially mined that cryptocurrency because the application can't see how you're initially acquiring that and at what cost basis you're doing so at. So again here we're just going to quickly delete the Coinbase transactions to generate a fictitious warning trade error. As you can see we're going to go to review trades, bam, the application doesn't know where the Ethereum came from so you're getting a warning trade. So in this case we're going to pretend that this person was actually a miner of Ethereum and that's how they initially acquired the asset. So within the application as, um, as explained you enter any transaction outside of typical trading through exchanges, etc., on the Add Transactions tab. Okay, this is where you're going to add transactions such as gifts received, right? That could be how you initially acquired the crypto. Again, mining payouts, or maybe even income you received from your job in cryptocurrency form. These are all factors that could play into a warning trade if you didn't include this data in the application. For this example, we're pretending again that this person was a miner. Again, they, they mined ETH, so we're going to type in the Ethereum symbol here. Let's say I mined 10 ETH mining. And then you're going to have to break out when you actually mine this. If you only, let's say, did one at a time, okay, well then I'm going to say, okay, I, I mined this Ethereum and you're going to have to go back in your records and figure this out. It's very important, again, for tax purposes. We need to know when because the historical data engine is going to crunch that number and figure out, well, what was Ethereum worth at that exact time, date, timestamp. So let's say just on January 4th, back in 2018, when cryptocurrency was riding high, that's when we were mining Ethereum. Let's save this incoming transaction and we'll do one more for good measure. Obviously, you'd have to um, completes these in succession depending on when and how much you mined. You want to be obviously as accurate as possible. Let's say we mined <clears throat> the second round of Ethereum, you know, a, a couple months later from that initial January trade, um, which is February 6th. Okay, we're going to save this. So now, as you can see, we've specified that we mined Ethereum on January of 2018 as well as what is March of 2018 okay so now we we've saved that down and the engine has that data okay we're gonna go into the next step now recall we don't have that coinbase file in uh, the picture right now remember and that's what was initially generating that warning trade but now we don't even need it in this fictitious example because as you can see let's go to the next step the application automatically sees now, oh, you, you got Ethereum through mining. The historical engine is going to crunch the numbers based on that time period where you got it. And then it'll automatically sense and detect that you sent it into these exchanges, right, to continue trading. And it will be able to calculate your cost basis accurately from there. So those are the two most common causes of getting a warning trade and how you're going to troubleshoot it. You can see from here I have no warning trades, I'm all good because I entered that mining data. Again, the biggest cause is that users aren't providing all of their data. You know, maybe they, for, they didn't include a data point from two years ago or three years ago when they actually initially got Bitcoin through Coinbase or Gemini. The application needs that data and you need to include it. If you have right, all of your data, you shouldn't be getting warning trades. But if you think you're doing everything right and you still are, absolutely reach out to the support team here just through the intercom chat and we'll work with, with you to get that all squared away. Things still happen and cryptocurrency data is notoriously, notoriously difficult to deal with. So that concludes the warning trades video. Again, I'm going to link some 
um, support material in the bottom to read through. Again, reach out to the team with any further questions. Thanks.